when exporting your characters in your HairWorks assets from Max or Maya, all you need to do is go into your layer manager, select your growth mesh or growth meshes if you have multiple, and do air export selected, and we'll go to our Eve folder, because this is Eve. We'll tag this with test. Now what's going to happen is this is going to actually um, append the growth mesh name on the end of this if you have multiple growth meshes. In this case, we've only got one, so it's actually going to use um, test. Test growth mesh. And we select our HairWorks file type. Then we'll get our export options. If you need to change your units, um, you can scale them here. Um, our scene is based in centimeters. The exporter is also based in centimeters. So that seems to be pretty common. So you just leave it 1.0. If you need to go to inches, I think it's 2.54. And then et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, whatever your game scale is at. If you only needed to export collision, you could turn on the collision only checkbox, which you're not going to use very often. Um, you have advanced export options, which you can turn on, which is changing the up axis if you author your stuff in a different up axis than your game, which is probably not recommended, but just in case you do. And then also if you need to change the handedness um, for your end runtime, which is also pretty rare. So we'll just turn that off, then we say OK, and then we can go and we can bring our assets into the HairWorks viewer or into a game engine that you have HairWorks integrated into.